Welcome to First Look, where I check out packaging and special features for new Blu-ray releases. I've got first looks and reviews for all the newest horror Blu-rays, so please hit that subscribe button in the corner so you don't miss out. It took some searching, but I finally got my hands on the new Phantasm Sphere Collection from WellGo USA Entertainment. This six disc Blu-ray set includes all five Phantasm films, plus a bonus disc with extra content. This limited edition collection includes a replica of the deadly flying sphere from the films. Okay, so I'm very anal when it comes to the packaging on my movies. If you're patient and careful, you can get the box open without damaging it in any way. So the interior of the box slides out and we've got an image of Reggie's car on the top. Inside, the sphere needs to be assembled and includes a display base. It's solid and actually kind of heavy. The ball is based on exact measurements from the actual prop from director Don Coscarelli. It's just amazing. Sitting in the very bottom of the box is a book which houses all the discs. I gotta say, I don't really like the setup here. The book is nice and sleek looking with some great images and design, but I hate the way we have to slide the discs out. My Friday the 13th Blu-ray collection is like this, and it's something that, after time, will end up scratching up the discs. They do seem to slide in and out pretty easily though. So each movie is jam-packed with special features, from commentary tracks, to documentaries, to deleted scenes. But the big draw of this set is the never-before-released director's cut of Phantasm 2. It includes all of the gore sequences trimmed by the ratings board during the original release. Phantasm 2 is my favorite of the sequels, and I cannot wait to check this out. I haven't watched the Phantasm series in a long time, so it's going to be a lot of fun revisiting each one of them with this amazing set. And I actually haven't seen the recently released Part 5, Phantasm Ravager, which apparently ends the series. So is Part 5 a worthy final chapter? And how does the rest of the series hold up? Well, find out in an upcoming review. 